good afternoon students so in the last class we discussed uh, the jk master slave flip flop and in today's class we will see uh, one application of sr flip flop which is called a switch d bouncer uh, using a sr flip flop okay so in today's class we are going to see one application of sr flip flop application of set reset flip flop right so what we call that uh, application is switch d bouncer switch d bouncer using sr flip flop okay so what do you mean by first we will understand what is uh, what do you mean by switch d bouncer so if you take a mechanical switch which is having a, a, a spring inside or you can also take a push button right uh, let us uh, i'll draw a simple circuit here there are two points x and y okay so and there is a switch or there is a voltage hmm? uh, let us say v right so v positive terminal of v is connected to x right so i can consider this as a switch right so when i move the switch and i move the switch position from position x to y so when it is moved from x to y what happens suddenly it will not get connected with the point y so it will take some time it will it will uh, make uh, what happens here is uh, when the switch is moved from point x to y x to y what happens the switch point will not be connected to y suddenly it will take some time and it will do make and break option uh, break operations what do you mean by that make and break operation uh, initially when it is uh, thrown from x to y so it will get connected with y and suddenly because of the momentum in that uh, sorry not momentum it is a inertia inertia present in a spring uh, it will again leave for a certain amount of time then again it will uh, make a contact with y again it will it may leave and finally it may with, uh, get con uh, connected with y so what happens here is initially y voltage was zero because uh, v is connected to positive terminal of v is connected to point x so initially y was zero i can uh, call it as v y voltage at point y right so initially it is zero okay so when it is thrown so initially the voltage at point y is zero with respect to ground okay so what happens here uh, when the switch is thrown from position x to y initially it will make a contact with y it will make a contact with y right so i can denote it as one right so that means uh, vy is equal to voltage v right then suddenly it will not get connected with the point y it will make it will make uh, uh, operation then it will break right so again it will make it will break then finally it may get connected with the point y right so uh, consecutive make and break operations will take place before the uh, before uh, the switch gets connected with the, the point y right so in this case in this case let us say if i connect any one gate here let us say a not gate and if i measure what is the output of uh, the not gate right so initially when y is uh, uh, when switch is connected to x vy was zero and we can take that value as zero right and the value of z is equal to one right so when the switch is thrown from x to y it will not get connected with y suddenly right so it will make an it will make an operation first that it will it will get connected with y first then it will break that operation we are due to the inertia present in the spring of a switch right so during this point when it is uh, uh, creating a make and uh, break operations what happens i cannot say what is the input voltage of this not gate right so either it will be 1 or 0 right so it will not i cannot definitely tell that 
what is the voltage of uh, y right so I, in that case i cannot say what is the definite uh, output of uh, this inverter right so when it is a zero during this time uh, it, it is a make operation so input is one output is will be equal to zero during the break operation input is zero output is one so it, it will not sudden uh, it will not uh, give the stable out right so in such cases we cannot uh, identify the exact or the definite output of this inverter right so to avoid this make and break operations we, we, to avoid this make and break operations what we do we will make use of vsr flip flop right so let me draw this waveform again okay see initially first i will draw the voltage at point x right so initially switch is at x position right x point and it is equal to 1 right at t1 what i'll do at t1 the switch is thrown from x to y so what happens at uh, vy this is the voltage at vy right so initially it is zero right so when the switch is thrown from x to y it will take certain time before the switch comes to the final position right so it will undergo a continuous make and break operation right it will undergo continuous make and break operation before it comes to the rest right so this is the make and break operation in which point i cannot tell what is the uh, status of that switch right so but x will remain zero x will remain zero right so let us say at t2 t1 i have thrown a switch from x to y but it, it get connected with y after some time after make and break operation let us say it has it has connected to uh, it has connected to y at t2 right so once it makes the definite connection with the point y then i can tell the vy the voltage at uh, point v uh, y is 1 right next again at t2 let us say at t3 at t3 again the switch is thrown from in uh, now what is the condition of this switch this was x right and uh, this was uh, the uh, switch position now it is at y right so now uh, so here at t3 what i do again again i throw the switch from position y to x so what happens here the same make and break operations will happen at the point x right so after consecutive make and break operation finally the switch gets connected with the point p uh, sorry x right so at t4 at t4 the switch gets connected with the x then i can say the voltage at x is equal to v out right so to avoid these make and break operations we go for sr flip flop right so here i cannot definitely tell that what will be the value of voltage or what will be the voltage at point y right so so at uh, for su su some extent it is equal to 1 for next extent again it is equal to 0 definitely i cannot say right so i i can tell that only after a certain duration of time so once that the switch completely gets connected with uh, point y right so in that case i can say v by is equal to v right so this is called the switch debouncing switch debouncing so switch is getting uh, debounced again and again right so before it uh, comes to the rest okay so to avoid this uh, uh, switch debouncing we go with sr flip flop right so how can i avoid uh, uh, switch debouncing using sr this is the simple circuit using the sr flip flop okay same switch positions i am drawing here okay it is a v right it's positive terminal negative terminal initially it is connected to x right this point is x and here i'll take it as y okay and this is connected to s i put one uh, pull down resistor here where this point of voltage 
this voltage gets uh, gets cooled down to uh, ground. So similarly, one more pull down resistor here, and point Y is connected to R. Right. So why I am uh, connecting the pull down resistors here R when the X value, when the X value, or when the switch position is thrown from X to Y. So X once it leaves the point X, what will be the voltage at X is equal to 0, right? So it gets completely connected with Y, then what will be the value at uh, Y? Again it is equal to 0. So once completely it gets connected with the point Y, then only I can say the voltage at the point Y is equal to V, right? So when it is making, when it is debouncing between X and Y, when it is debouncing between X and Y, so what will be the voltage at point X and Y is equal to zero. But that was not uh, that was not happening in the previous case. In this case, in this case, it was not happening. Right. So uh, that uh, that condition of uh, that condition of a switch is called switch debouncing. But that. Uh, whatever I explained the switch debouncing condition in the last slide so that will not happen here because of presence of VSR play flop as well as presence of this pull down resistance so now if I connect to one inverter here what happens let us assume let us say uh, see switch initially it is connected to uh, X a positive voltage is connected to X I can treat it as one right so this one is connected to S right and because it has a less resistance path the current will flow a less resistance path and it has more resistance here so it will not take this path it will uh, uh, the more amount of current will flow into the SR flow right since S is equal to 1 R is pulled down to 0 right so value of R is equal to 0 so according to our truth table of SR flow when S is high the flip flop sets that means q is equal to 1 so if i calculate the value of z here it will be equal to 0 right so once the switch position is thrown from x to y what happens switch is neither connected to x nor it is connected to y so in that case what is the value of s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 so when s is equal to r is equal to 0 it remains the flip flop remains in its previous state what was the previous state previous state was 1 0 so output will remain equal to 0 right output will remain is equal to 0 so once it makes once it gets connected with uh, the, uh, the second point that is y completely after a switch debouncing case so in that case what happens s will become 0 and r now this switch is connected to y completely right so in that case r will become 1 so when R is equal to 1, the flip flop resets. That means Q will, is, will be equal to 0 and Q bar is equal to 1. When Q is equal to 0, the output of not get is equal to 1. Right? So here I can definitely tell that, I can definitely tell that what is the value of output, what is the value of Z. Even when the switch is connected to X and when it is connected to Y or when it is dancing or be bouncing in between the point x and y clear so clearly i can say but in case of uh, previous uh, the first slide when it was dancing in between x and y i cannot definitely tell that what is the output of uh, the not right so the same explanation i'll do with respect to the wave okay so see now how the waveform can be drawn here it is v by hmm, initially it is the same thing Right. So, what uh, waveform I have drawn in the first slide it is same. Right. Next, it is Vy. Then comes uh, Vx. Initially, Vx was the high. So, uh, initially, Vx was high, and it became zero. Then, at uh, T2, uh, this is at T2. No? So, at T3 again, uh, switch is thrown from Y2 x right so this is vx initially it was uh, 1 right but because we uh, switch was connected to point x so vx was 1 when it is thrown at t1 to y it will uh, it will uh, it will uh, 
it will create a make and break operations at point y right so here what happens this case is called a switch b also and this is also called a switch b also right so now if i draw the value of q which is uh, the output of q uh, sr flip flop right since vx was high here since vx was high here which is connected to s means s is high q will or flip flop will set right so once once vx becomes zero once vx becomes zero and vy is also treated as zero during this debouncing case because of these pull down resistors right so what will be the value of q in that case q will remain is equal to 1 q will remain is equal to uh, 1 right because s was high now here so it will remain it as 1 right so once it gets connected so till uh, here, till here. So here, Q is equal, initially it is equal to one, and it will remain one till the switch gets connected with Y. So once it gets connected with Y, that is at point T two, what happens? V Y will become high. That means R is equal R becomes high and S becomes zero. So when R is high. Q will become zero, right? So, and it will remain zero until uh, the switch is thrown from Y to X. So, at this point, at T4, it gets connected with X again. S will become high, so flip flop sets, right? So, the same Q bar waveform can be drawn, which is complement of Q, where Q is high here, zero here, and one here. Similarly, Q bar is complement of Q. So it is drawn in reverse of Q, right? So initially it will be zero, next one, next zero. Right? So in this manner, we can avoid these fluctuation conditions, which are called as, which are called switch debouncing, which can be removed, which can be removed with the help of an SR, right? So in next class, we will see how to obtain the characteristic equations using uh, different flip flops. Okay, thank you.